Afternoon, Dean. Afternoon. Um, last time Brentford met Chelsea in the Cup, uh, Brentford took them to a replay in the fourth round. Are you looking for something similar this time around, or do you feel the FA Cup's a bit of a distraction at the moment? No, it's certainly not a distraction. And um, I think we made our intentions clear when we played Eastley in the, in the last round and played a full-strength team to to try and uh, you know get to where we are today. Um, you know, we know it's going to be a tough game, um, but it's one that we're looking forward to, and you know, uh, we'll try and win the game. Um, I think both clubs could do without a replay, so we will be going all out to win it, but we know how tough it will be. Chelsea have had one loss in all competitions in their last 14 matches. How do you set up against that? Well, I mean, you reminded me that. I've looked at the team this morning of what it might be, and that scared me enough anyway. But um, no, we, we know the, the strength in depth they've got. You only have to look at you know the possibles that could play William. Uh, back to IE, you know, I think 65 million can, combined in transfer totals. So um, it's going to be a tough, but you know we've analysed them like we would analyse any game that we play in the championship, and uh, it's one that we're certainly looking forward to. And of course, a London derby, so the fans will be very aware of that. Do you think that will seep into the players? Yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah, I think it took only two days for our fans to sell out the tickets, uh, just under 6,000 going there. So we know that. Um, there's going to be great support there. Um, you know, I'm, I'm told that it's the first time that the team's played all, all three West London teams away from home in a season. So, you know, we've already won at QPR. Hopefully, we can go and win at Chelsea and then uh, Fulham later on in the season. But you know, it's it's a good game, um, but it's as tough a draw as you can get. The current leaders of of the of the land um, away from home, but it's one I suppose that we're excited about as well. Uh, you've mentioned that Scott Hogan has a tight hamstring. Will he be available? Uh, Scott's available for selection. Yeah, he's trained all week, um, again, as he did last week. Uh, but it'll be my decision whether he's starting, whether he's on the bench or, or whether he's not involved. Um, I think we made that abundantly clear last week at the end of the game that you know we're not going to get affected by phone calls and you know my decision whether he starts, he's sub or, or not involved will be fine. Yeah, you've been critical of certain clubs distracting your players. Do you feel that there should be a transfer window in the middle of the season? Uh, I, th I think it, it works all over. It, it is all over the world, um, you know. But there's just so many influences now that are influencing team selections that shouldn't be. And it's not just at our club; it's uh, all clubs. There's so many. Um, there's so many. So much speculation about different players from from different reasons, and I said before, there's there used to be just three people involved, and it was the player and the two clubs. But now there's representatives who are involved as well, and all parties have to be happy for the deal to go through. Um, you know, and it's just taking time. Will you let them go to West Ham for the right money? Well, we would let any of our player go anywhere for for the right money. Um, you know, because everybody has a, a value at any club. I think that's been been shown throughout the world, and you know, even the top clubs players will go if the if the value is met. Um, you know, and likewise with our players. Do you feel there's a way of doing things though, and do you feel that West Ham haven't adhered to that? I mean, we, we've had offers from different clubs for Scott Hogan, and uh, all of them have not met the valuation. Um, so. We keep our business, you know, strictly private, and we'll say no to people if we don't think the value is met. And then it's up to them to come up with a, a deal that does meet us. Can you confirm that Florian Josephson has had a medical here? I can confirm that we've been in negotiations with him, uh, but until my director of football tells me that something's complete, again, like I say, uh, you know, we we try and keep things private until the actual deal's done and at the moment it's not done so we're still waiting on that. Okay. Um, clearly that's, he's a winger, so clearly that's if Hogan does go? Or is it? No, I mean, no, I mean Sam Saunders left last week, uh, you know, so it was a case of one out, one in, um, where we can. Uh, you know, we will try and get that deal or the director of football will try and get that deal. Uh, if it's not then we move on to a, another target, as is always the case. And just finally, are you interested in uh, Chuba Agpom coming back to Griffin Park? Uh, we've not discussed Chuba. Um, he's been here before. Um, we have regular recruitment meetings, and uh, you know we've got number a number of players on our lists. Um, he's not one that's been been discussed at length. Dean, thank you. No worries, thank you. Can, can I
ask a couple of questions on the, on the broadcast session. Of course. Yeah. Dean, what's the rest of your team news? Any new injuries? No, to be honest, uh, I've had a, a full squad training today. Uh, nice to have 21 out there. Um, although the weather conditions weren't great, a little bit of firmness and frost in the ground. Um, but I suspect with a, a 42,000 sellout at, at the current leader of the league, everybody's out there trying to impress me. How much confidence can you take from Bradford two seasons ago? Chelsea were romping to the title that season as well, fourth round of the FA Cup. Beaten by practice, so. Yeah, I mean, I suppose what what helps me is uh, the fact that they're playing Liverpool on Tuesday <laughs> in the Premier League, you know. So, but we're also playing Aston Villa, so there's two big games, and I suppose it's who can rotate the best. And are you confident that you you can put our players unhinged by distractions that will focus on the? No, the, the yeah. To be honest, that the group of players I've got, they're honest. Um, they're hard working and they look forward to the game. Um, you know they'll go all out to try and win the game. We, we know the, the talent, the pool of talent that they have there at Chelsea. Um, but we feel that we're competitive and we're quite used to now these sort of games. You know, played Newcastle a couple of weeks ago. The the likes of the of the, the clubs that are in the Championship now are big teams. You know, uh, every week it's a tough game. Aston Villa, Brighton, uh, Derby, Sheffield Wednesday. There's a lot of big clubs, so we're getting used to, to playing games like this. So it's not going to be a shock. Although, um, you know, they've done a fantastic job this season already. Chelsea, it'll be a tough game for us. Antonio Conte has had his own situation with his top scorer to to resolve to to steer. What have you made of how he's dealt with that situation? Yeah, no, he's. It's very hard to, to comment on what happens at other clubs because you don't actually know. Uh, all you can do is, um, I've admired the way he's, he's handled it in the press uh, and in the media. He's uh, shown that players have to be committed to the football club because you know we're, we're the ones who employ them and um, have, have took the risk in taking them at the first in the first place. Um, you know, and uh, but I'm really impressed with how he's, how he's done with, with the team. Um, you know they. Didn't qualify for Europe last season, and uh, you know they're, they're steaming ahead in the in the Premier League at the moment.